Oh, I've seen the clock had stopped. Hello and welcome to RC Birds and thanks for stopping by. Nochmal. I have a box here which has the dimensions of a uh, height of 45 centimeters or 1.5 foot, a width of almost 60 centimeters or two foot, and a length of 75 centimeters or two and uh, half foot feet always get confused with this so to keep the video as short as possible i have my egg clock here i give every project two minutes and after that the next video will come for each project there will be probably new videos where i go into the details which i like to do with all these cars. There are three cars, three projects. I start with the last project where most of the parts are missing it. I ordered uh, many things for this on the Jungle River and uh, they aren't uh, here or they are arrived at my workplace, but I have a couple days off. So this is a project which will be the last. Then the second, where is something uh, special too and I need more time and uh, the first will be the last project now in the presentation where I well, with which I start first I open up the box my microphone cable is long enough And one thing I have to admit, I already had opened the box to check uh, the content, if they sent me everything I ordered. This is uh, true. There's nothing missing. And... I got a present. I got a present which they don't thought this is a present which they don't thought that this is a present I got this box and you already can hear it there's a lot of stuff in it like uh, colors, ball bearings, servos, receivers, and so on. But this carton is uh, uh, this box is in a very good shape. I don't have this car, but I have now the box. Don't know for what uh, this might be great. So let's start with uh, project number three. Wrong button. Two minutes. Project number three is this little guy. I wanted this. This will be converted into a post apocalyptic car. The wheels are very good for. Fitting, and uh, if you see the Mad Max movies, the whole dimensions of the car are great for this project. I don't think I keep these yellow rims. There will be some additional parts, and I like that this is a hard body. A hard body is good for attaching some other things. 
And uh, for this, I like to thank Adam from Adam Playground, which uh, had which who excuse me. I like to thank Adam from Adam's Playground, who gave me the inspiration for doing this. And uh, what I'm what I like to do is I keep those friction dampers because I don't think uh, they have enough time to maintenance uh, for the dampers uh, and uh, oil filter in real. So I like this uh, bumpy thing, uh, there will be lights. I ordered an exhaust pipe, which is uh, really good smoking. And of course, uh, there are some uh, guns attached to it and so on. I for sure have ball bearings. Uh, Watching motor. Let's go to the second project. Oh, <laughs> selfie mode. Wrong direction. And let's start. Project number two. For sure, I first wanted again a TRX4 for Bronco, the new Bronco, because he had uh, great lights. But um, for some reasons, which I don't like to explain here, I switched over to a semi truck from Tamir, but then I found on my dealer's homepage this one. Hope you can see it. I don't. I cannot see you. This is uh, great. The high lift cars are almost like semi trucks. They are constructed the same way. They have the gearbox. They have lights, functions, and so on and so on. And hereafter, I don't talk a lot about it, but I got it for 360, which means around 40% off. And just for that truck, yeah, please. I ordered the MFC unit, so I got both for the same price as just the heat of the car. And uh, this will be fun. I checked out uh, there are 23 LEDs in and uh, oh my god this is heavy uh, all lights uh, fit here on this model you can also add five roof lights which I don't do and uh, then you have to add five more LEDs oh. Excuse me. You can do five roof lights, which I don't do. You have to add uh, five more LEDs to the MFC 2 kit. But uh, with this, I have some other things in mind. The body is going to a professional airbrush artist and will be painted there. This takes uh, seven weeks at least. And uh, this is the reason why this is uh, project number two. And, of course, I miss this desk radius. On my ships, I had a lot of them, and I'm not a fan of this uh, pistol-style radios. So now I have a new radio, just for the high lift. And for this, let me see if I can find it. Nope, it's a very small pop-up piece. Oh, I've seen 
the clock had stopped. I think uh, two minutes are gone. Project number one. Don't know why this didn't work. And it's good, I'm really not cooking real eggs. Now it's running. Project number one and the project with I <coughs> and the project with which I start first is this little guy. But I keep my eyes on the T201E chassis and not on the body. This will be the second body for this car. The main body I plan for it is this little guy. It's from Bitty Design. It's the... Ah, here you can see a picture. Hope I don't get too many reflections in here. It's an iron truck. It's uh, likely uh, adapted from uh, Kenya. Kenya or Volvo truck, which is uh, called the Iron Knight. I find it very interesting. This will be the main body. And for this project, I got uh, <coughs> many parts, really many parts. A year, a year racing uh, conversion kit for the chassis, many aluminium. I'm not a fan of aluminium, but uh, on on-road cars, here's a heatsink for the motor. Lots of colors, lots of colors. Pearl white, green metallic. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> for my lunchbox, I finally got aluminium body mounts. Silver. Sorry, next time more in this theater. Okay, I think I have to give you a first impression of the next three projects. If you stayed with me until here, I'm really happy. Every project will get its own presentation video, so you know what I'm doing with it. And I hope the next month, summer and uh, slightly into the autumn, will be a great time. The Roller course or the SEX24 or AX24 course will be continued uh, then to will be restarted in autumn or winter. And uh, yeah, so many parts. I like to start already with the TTO1E, but this will be done. Uh, in the next hours, uh, it's early in the morning, I have to wake up the birds and then uh, go on. So, I thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up. If you have got questions, please write it down in the comments. And I really appreciate if you share and subscribe to my channel. See you soon on Aussie Birds.